Hey guys, I'm going to give you four Bible verses that changed my life. Four Bible verses that can change your life as well, okay? Okay, let's get into it. The first one, this is my favorite verse of all time, Philippians 4 through 6, okay? Because I know a lot of us worry. We worry each day about everything. We worry about bills. We worry about income. We wor- we worry about what we're going to eat. We worry about what's going to happen next, okay? And this verse help- helps me mostly from having anxiety, from being anxious, from worrying, okay? And that Bible verse is Philippians 4 through 6. And it reads, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, make your requests be made known to God. The verse starts off with, The verse starts off with, Be anxious for nothing, meaning worry about nothing. Give all your worry your anxiety give everything to god and he's going to handle it be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication make your requests be made known to god in the peace of god which surpass all understanding may guard your hearts and minds in christ jesus all right so we're going to get get into my second verse that's life-changing because this verse tells us who we are okay when you have negative thoughts that's telling you you're not worthy worthy of anything that you you don't belong here you have no purpose in life you have no destiny you can always turn to first peter 2 through 9 and it tells you exactly who you are so you can say this verse when those negative thoughts come in your mind the verse starts off with but you are a chosen generation Tell that whatever thoughts you have and tell them that I'm chosen. A royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people. Okay, you are chosen. You are holy. You you come from a holy nation. You come from a royal priesthood. All right, I love this verse because when negative thoughts come in and people come in and try to tell you who you are, you can go to this verse and be like, hold up. I'm chosen for a time like this, okay? He knew me before he formed me in his in my mother's womb. He knew you before he formed you, okay? That's my number two. Now, let, let's get to number three, guys. All right, so number three, my third life-changing verse of all time is in the book of songs, okay? I feel like you should just read the whole book of songs and it, it will just change you, but one of my verses that I love out of here is um 91 songs 91 7 through 8 I'm thinking and it says but a thousand may a thousand may fall at your side 10,000 at your right hand but it will not come near you you will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked you will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked so while all these all this stuff is going on in this world, it shall not come near you. It shall not touch you. And I just think about um 2020 when COVID happened. I never got COVID, guys. I was probably going through my own things, but I never got it at all. And I always think of this verse. Um you will see people fall and you will see people getting sick. You'll see people being plagued with diseases. You'll see people get killed. But guess what? None of that stuff will come near you, okay? Um, and I don't I don't know if COVID is a bad example because I know a lot of people got COVID, but when you think about things that happened to others that did not happen to you, okay? All right, so it was so hard choosing four verses. I had a difficult time choosing between Romans and Proverbs. So I'm going to go to Proverbs, okay? In Proverbs 18.21, um, it reads... We should we a lot of people know this verse, a lot of people don't if you're new in Christ, but it says life and debt is in the power of the tongue, okay? What you speak shall come forth in the earth, okay? If you speak negative, negative shall come forth. If you speak positive, positive shall come shall come forth in your life, okay? That 
verse in itself is so powerful. You need to watch what you speak. You should be like, I am healed. Okay, I am set free. I am delivered. Okay, um, that verse itself is just powerful, guys. And maybe I'll give you guys a bonus. Um, <laughs> I had Romans 12, 2 written down as well. And in Romans 12, 2, um, it reads, I already know this verse. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be transformed formed by the renewing of your mind so you may know what is the perfect will in Christ Jesus. I'm thinking that's what it says. I really have this verse memorized in my head, but I don't know if it says it. Is that the exact words? Okay, so Romans 12 2. I'm going to read it exactly how it says in the New King James Version because it's different versions. Um, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Okay, do not be conformed to this world. That right there is like letting you know, do not be so trapped into worldly things. Do not be so trapped into what you see in this world, social media, TV, music, all of this is worldly, okay? Do not be conformed to the world, okay? But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You're going to be transformed by the renewing of your mind by getting into the word of God, seeking God and knowing God yourself. And you're going to be transformed. So you're not going to be so worldly anymore, okay? You're not going to be worrying about the new the new artist that's coming out or who's on um tv right now um who's releasing a new album like no do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the word of god guys all right that is my top favorite verses um i did a bonus verse because i want i don't want you guys to be so trans i don't want you guys to be conformed to this world as well okay